Hello to my amazing artists and butterflies. Today we are going to create a butterfly using a really interesting process. For today's project, you are going to need some string, some paint, and some paper. So you might be wondering, what are we going to make? Well, I have some amazing examples of butterflies that other kids have made. Let's take a look at some examples. So here is an awesome example of what one of these butterflies looks like. The wing on the left is the same as the wing on the right. They are symmetrical, same as this one here. This student used green paint to create their butterfly and drew in the body. This student used black paint and it looks like maybe they used some sort of a chalk to add in the colors. Now if you have a different color of paper like this one here is done on a blue paper with white paint, that is totally fine too. And lots of cool patterns and designs were added using crayon and markers. This one here used black paint, very good symmetry and even symmetrical with the colors too. And lastly, this kid added stickers and googly eyes to their butterfly, which is totally fine too. It's your art, you can do whatever you want. So here are the materials you're going to need. You're gonna need a paint. I used acrylic, although it's a little bit messy, so maybe a tempera paint would work best. You're also gonna need a paper, and don't forget something to actually put your paint in, like a dish or a bowl. Then you're going to need a piece of string. I have three different kinds here. There's this one, which is quite thick. I have a yarn, which is like the one we use in school. And I have a really skinny piece of string as well. You're also going to need a scissors to cut your string. Okay, so now that we have our materials ready, I'm going to demonstrate. Now for the demonstration, I want you to only watch with your eyes. So watch the video once first before try it on your own. Now let's go to the first step. We're gonna cut our string and it depends on the size of your paper, but you want it to be a couple feet, maybe two feet long. Maybe a grown up can help you with that. That's gonna be probably longer than your arm. So that's a good length. What we're going to do is we are going to drop it onto our paper. So we want to make sure that it's big enough that we can get a cool design that way. Okay, so next I'm going to fold my paper in half. So I'm going to fold it and I'm going to match up those corners. And then I'm going to press, 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 paper massage, paper massage. And just making sure my corners are lined up. Yep, press, press, press in half and then I'm gonna open it back up. Looks perfect. Okay, now my workspace is ready. It's folded in half. I have one side and the other side, and it looks like I am ready to go. So I already put my string into the black paint. Maybe you can see. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze out the extra paint. So I'm taking my fingers and I'm squeezing. I'm like pinching the string, and I'm pulling, 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 and as I do, I'm just getting out the extra paint so that it's not so wet. Then I'm going to place it on one side of my paper. Now, I want a little tail to stick out the top. Look at the top of the paper, and you can see I have a little tail sticking out. Now, I arranged my string however I wanted. You might need to wipe your fingers a little bit because it gets a little bit messy. And now, here's the fun part. I'm going to fold my paper in half. And I'm going to rub, rub, rub. Do you see the little tail on the top? That's going to be important. Now I'm going to take my tail. I'm still holding onto my paper and I'm pulling it out, pulling it out, pulling it out all the way. Now's the fun part. I get to open it. Wow. Ooh la la. I have an amazing symmetrical butterfly body that I'm going to add color to next. Wow, that turned out super cool. Now, the first two times I tried, they didn't turn out so cool. So you might need to try more than once to get a butterfly print that you really like that you can draw on. Now, you need to wait for the black paint to dry. If you don't do that, you might destroy your beautiful butterfly. So I know you probably really want a color, but now is the time to wait for the paint to dry before we add the decorations. 
All right, so once you have a print that you really love, then um, it's time to draw on top of it. So you can use watercolors, markers, crayons, chalk, oil, pastels, I mean, anything that you have. Thank you for watching. Thank you for making art with me. Goodbye, all of my beautiful butterflies. Bye.